Hello, I'm Gary Walesko, Principal Engineering Program Manager for the Instrumentation Group at the Riverhawk Company. We were invited to make a product presentation at the latest Turbo Machinery Symposium regarding uh, torsional vibration monitoring at a discussion group provided at the show. Riverhawk's solution for dynamic torque metering is an upgrade to our RDT2100 system. For systems that have been produced since 2002, they can easily be upgraded merely by changing the monitor that resides in the instrumentation area with no changes required to the machinery that's out in the field. The updates uh, provide additional signal outputs and additional capabilities that are necessary for monitoring in different kinds of application environments. <clears throat> One of the main environments is what's called low cycle fatigue. This is where uh, primarily in motor startup conditions where you experience high torque values on startup. They happen infrequently, again usually on startup. So that's why it's referred to as low cycle fatigue. These torque values can be as much as eight to 10 times the normal running torque. So it's important that these get monitored because they really affect the life of the coupling. For these kinds of applications, we can provide instantaneous torque output that can be recorded on a recorder or fed into your DCS system. And we can also capture the peak torque values. So you have those until they are reset by an operator or some external input. Another application is high cycle fatigue. This is really something that's more often called torsional vibration. This is where you may have fluctuations in torque values on an ongoing basis due to some characteristics uh, of the system. For this kind of application, we provide instantaneous outputs. We can also capture the peak-to-peak -peak value, just the, uh, the alternating torque value, and we can also capture the peaks and the, the magnitude of that alternating value. Our system can also be used for validation of products if necessary, and it can be used for other kinds of diagnostics where you can take the data that's collected and run it through an FFT analysis, uh, waterfall or Campbell diagram to get the kind of data you need for your evaluation. Our system uses uh, strain gauge technology. There have been some concerns in the marketplace about the reliability of strain gauge technology and uh, really those concerns um, just make no sense. This is a proven technology. We have over 40 years of experience with strain gauge based torque metering systems. And to the best of my knowledge and my 15 years experience here, we have never had a failure of a strain gauge in a torque metering system. This is also a mature, reliable product. We have been involved with torque metering systems since 1976. We have hundreds of torque metering systems out there. Uh, the systems that were supplied in the 70s, uh, in many cases, are still operating today. And as far as calibration uh, maintenance goes, uh, we have one customer that returns their system about every four years for recalibration. And what we find is that over these many years, the calibration has usually been within 2%. So uh, the longevity of these systems and the repeatability of these systems is excellent. Any of the systems that were produced since 2002 can easily be upgraded in the field. The instrumented coupling, which sits right out on the machinery, does not need to be changed. The excitation and signal conditioning module here, uh, which is also on the machine, does not need to be changed. The only thing that needs to be changed is the monitor, which exists back in the control room area. That gets replaced with an enhanced unit. There are no connectivity changes. Uh, new signals are available, and it can be installed without a shutdown. So how does our system work? Well, basically, the strain gauge is measuring the torque that's applied to the coupling. That signal is amplified and converted to a variable frequency signal so that we can transmit that out through the rotor and stator. 
The ESC, which resides on the machinery, takes that signal and conditions it for long distance transmission to the monitor or the display unit. And the display unit converts that variable frequency signal back to torque values. And again, the desired outputs that are available on the enhanced system are instantaneous torque, peak torques, and peak to peak torques. Systems can easily be added to new couplings for new systems. Uh, the only requirement is that there may be a neck down area needed in the area where the strain gauges are provided so that we can get sufficient uh, strain and convert that to um, good torque reading. And the advantages of the Riverhawk uh, torque metering system are that it has less impact on the coupling design. Usually there's no impact on the coupling design. It provides the least amount of added weight, the least amount of additional overhung moment. There basically is no cost adder to the coupling from standard coupling. It provides really the lowest price overall uh, torque metering system compared to the competition. And again, this is a mature product that has been in the field for many years. We also provide uh, temporary torque metering solutions. These are customized for, for customers. They can be applied. We can do some, uh, collect some data. Either we can do it or the customer can do it and do the analysis that's required. So if you have any additional questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact uh, the Riverhawk company. We'll be happy to talk to you and answer your questions. Thank you.